Um, uh, if he doesn't have the steel hulk out, then I'm probably going to be killing stuff, which means I probably should have sacked stuff to the culling decks. I didn't think about that. I was still operating on it. He's the worst case scenario for the, the clone shell. Yeah. We're not winning with poison. So yeah, I can kill the clone shell. Yeah, this time remember to tap the copper mirror beforehand. Put some mana in my pool. And make a contagious name. Like, there's very little that he could have under the, the clone shell that would worry me. But at the moment, nothing has flying, and I'd rather just prevent him from playing any more one toughness guys. So, let's get in with the. Uh, the Carnifex Demon, and mean that you know, just one black wrath is bored. Doesn't make a difference doing it before or now. Um, this way, I take out the, the Dark Steel Mare at the cost of any of my Copper Mare. Um, and make the, the flyer a bit bigger so it'll kill him over two tins. So I'm really worried about the arrest now, and then he taps the two, and it turns out. That actually, there is the Steel Hulk, which means it's not under the Clan Shell. Which means now the plan of attack. Oh, that's annoying. Plan of attack. Remove counter from the Conifex Demon. Um, equip the Culling, the, the Heavy Arbalist to a Poison Guy. Poison up the Steel Hellkite. Shrink everything with the Conifex Demon. I'd rather the, the Tankland was untapped in case I want stuff to block it. So shrink the Conifex, this shrink the Steel Hellkite. Then make everything small. That will make the Sun Chaser small if he decides to block with the Steel Hellkite. That was a land under the clone shell. I needn't have worried so much. But you know, if it had been the Steel Hellkite that would have been really annoying. And I've been kicking myself for not watching the replays and knowing that he had it. So... I decided not to attack there. I just block with the, the Sun Chaser and then I can't block the Steel Hellkite and that will mean that he, if he hits a land here he's able to um, kill off the Conifex Demon so I gain very little value so yeah all I'm going to do is just wait, untap Move the heavy obelisk to the tangle angler. Use tangle angler to kill the steel hellkite, and then get in with the carnifex demon for actual damage. So this would be one of the few occasions where the poison deck actually wins with real damage. Of course, by killing the steel hellkite, also take out the oriok sun chaser, which is quite nice, and um, basically leaves him with no board. Um, I mean, he's obviously got the blade opinions and the mox opal, but they're not things that we're really, really worried about when we've got the Carnifex demon. Oh, he's got Glamour Point Stag. That's quite annoying. However, it does get rid of the Oriok Sun Chaser, which means if he's going to block, now it has to be with the Steel Hellkite rather than, you know, just the Sun Chaser and puts us in a position where it's much more favourable. Um, he doesn't have the six land unless he's holding it in the hope that we attack badly. Oh, uh, we okay, we've won then. Unless he's got something amazing in hand that I didn't bank on, we can just make both the guys attack. Uh, make both the guys block the tangle angler, and Ante might for the win. Um. Yeah. <laughs> he could have. I don't know, Soul Parry absolutely blows us out here, but I haven't seen it in any of the games he's been playing. Um, 
Because like, it could have dispersed, but he seems to be mono white. I haven't seen any blue in the replays. I think it's pretty safe to just go for it here. <laughs> I mean, to be safe, I guess I could untame Mike the Tangle Angler and just take out the Hellkite, but I think this is a much... I mean, that that play falls, falls to the same soul parry, and this has a much bigger upside. So, yeah, he's dead. So, yeah, we were back onto the poison plan if that had failed. So, he's got a steel Hellkite... We need that already. Clone shell. There's nothing really would change. We're not bringing in the Azuri's archers. He hasn't, we haven't seen anything that we're particularly scared of in terms of the poison deck and things that we were scared of last time. We could have Dark Slick Drake. Don't really care. Our deck seems to be much better than his. I'm pretty confident going into this, what I hopefully what will hopefully be the last game. Uh, the hand's pretty awkward if we don't see a black, but they've got Tangle Angler, I guess. Uh, looking even more awkward. I only need one swamp to close it out there. And, and that hand looks really good if we draw a swamp now. <laughs> He's got the uh, the edge right again. Uh, oh. So land, oh no, it's a forest. So he's going to get in for two. Hopefully just, we can make the Tangle Angler next turn go up the board enough, and that'll be that. We'll eventually draw a black and win in the air with poison counters. Liquid metal coating. So he's obviously on the uh, the metal craft plan. Hey, we've seen the swamp. However, we're just going to make the Tangle Angler. It's way, way better if he happens to have another artifact. Uh, as, like, even if he's got double strike, oh, that's not something we're worried about. He decides not to run it in. Even if he's got an artifact um, to give it double strike, it's still just a two power guy and a two toughness guy. So he can only attack into the Tangle Angler for value once. Um, yeah. What can we do? I reckon... No, we'll just leave mana up and instill infection his rusted relic and then we can block it with the Tangle Angler, have it not die and just become a 3-3. Three, three. Which is then not something we're at all worried about. And we'll just take the 4 off the edge right. Doesn't attack with the edge right. Definitely attack with the edge right there. I mean, if I block, I take five, and you just shrink your guy. He's not even dead. Oh yeah. So now we've got a three-three. Oh wow. So, we've got a choice. We can either run out the Carnifex Demon or run out the Barbed Battle Gear with a Plague Stinger. Like, as, as dumb as it sounds, I think those plans are actually quite close, but, you know, Carnifex Demon is Carnifex Demon. And he's just going to wreck the board. It'll hopefully just keep him off ever being able to have proper... Metalcraft. His guys aren't scary for us anyway. You know. I mean, he might have Galvanic Blast here. That would be pretty good. Dragon of Thought. I am a fan of it. It's not going to do much for him in this situation. He might get to draw a card with the Palladium there. Yeah. That's not looking too good for him. And using it straight away probably means he's about to scoop because his board is about to get 
wiped and he's about to take a lot of damage especially given that we've got the world battle gear yep there we go so we won our draft sorry to be forcing poison again but as you can see couldn't really say no thanks for watching